I am Jodie and I am the maths lead here at Manor Green Primary School. Today I'm going to talk you through our approach to teaching maths and introduce you to our calculation policy. We teach maths following the CPA approach. This stands for concrete, pictorial and abstract. Let's take a look at the different stages. Concrete step of the CPA approach. Concrete is the doing stage. During this stage, students use concrete objects to model problems. Unlike traditional maths teaching methods where teachers demonstrate how to solve a problem, the CPA approach brings concepts to life by allowing children to experience and handle physical, concrete objects. With the CPA framework, every abstract concept is first introduced using physical, interactive, concrete materials. For example, if a problem involves adding pieces of fruit, children can first handle actual fruit. From there, they can progress to handling abstract counters or cubes, which represent the fruit. Pictorial. Pictorial is the seeing stage. Here, visual representations of concrete objects are used to model problems. This stage encourages children to make a mental connection between the physical object they just handled and the abstract pictures, diagrams or models that represent the objects from the problem. Building or drawing a model makes it easier for children to grasp difficult abstract concepts. Simply put, it helps students to visualise abstract problems and make them more accessible. Abstract. Abstract is the symbolic stage. Children use symbols to model problems. This abstract stage involves the teacher introducing abstract concepts. For example, children are introduced to multiplication, division, addition and subtraction. Students do not progress in this stage until they have demonstrated that they have a solid understanding of the concrete and pictorial stages of the problem. At Manor Green, the concrete stage is very important to our children, allowing them to handle and manipulate objects to understand mathematical concepts. This also shows the real life connections math has for us all and can be easily transferred to children's play and the home environment. For example, Subtracting when eating, adding when working out how many there are of something all together, dividing when we're sharing fr fruit and vegetables between friends, multiplying when we want to see how many there are in a group.